buddy. Hi, bud. What are you doing? Hey, guys. Lanky White Guy here. I'm going to do a video for you real quick. Hopefully, by the end of it, you'll be able to make your very own hand dredge that'll suck material straight off the bedrock. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so what I've got together here is all the stuff that you're going to need to make your hand dredge. I'm sorry there hasn't been a video for a while. Uh, I had some recording complications with what's behind door number one here. And I'll be showing it to you. I've just got to compile a video somehow, some way with some corrupted footage. So anyway, I thought I would try and get like a quick and dirty video out for you with this hand dredge or yabby pump or whatever you want to call it um, actually what they are uh, is a ghost shrimp pump and you suck it down into the sand of the ocean or wherever the ghost shrimp are you pull it up and dump it out and it spits out the ghost shrimp but as we all know we're going to use this to try to suck the gold off the bedrock and I thought what better way to do this than just to try and make it right here and now with you I don't know how long of a video it will be but I'll just go through the stuff as I use it. Like this here is a test plug for a two inch pipe. And all it does is squeeze together a little piece of rubber here. So as you tighten it, we're gonna kind of do it a little different here. And I'll show you what I did already, just kind of like to prepare. I took the two pieces and I flipped the screw in put a little bit of primer out there like some overspray just to shoot on top of it. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice guys. I got off work about an hour and a half ago and anyway and now I have I don't know if you can see it in the camera you can see the primer on here but you can kind of see a line there and I'm going to end up cutting this along that line to make it smaller so that when it smashes together it'll still fit inside this two inch pipe. Alrighty, so I figure I'll just do this right here in front of you, hopefully. Alright, so I'm going to take a little file and file it too, just so I can get it a little more round, because I don't think it matters as long as it fits in and still squashes the plug, but this is how I'm going to do it. Alright guys, so we got that, now we got our plug and our other half, and we're just going to put them like that now. And that's, kind of, that's how they work, but we're going to turn the um, bolt around. Now on this there was two little washers, there was a, a black rubber one on this end and it has a square hole in it, and then there's a round hole one. Keep track of those, we're going to use them. All right, now I have a cap for a three quarter inch piece of pipe. It's just PVC and I drilled a hole into it with a half inch drill bit. So that's what I did there. And we're gonna put this, let's see, this way. I gotta make sure I get this right. And I'm wondering should I put the washer on the inside or the outside? I don't think that it goes on the outside that well. We'll just put it on the inside. I don't think it matters. You're going to have a small leak. It's going to be submerged in water. I get kind of meh about that kind of stuff, but I shouldn't worry about it. There's a square end there. Round. It's like a puzzle. There we go. All right. And then wing nut. Sweet. I think we have a thing. All right. Cool. So there's that part of it, and we need to start, <clears throat> sorry about my voice, I've been talking and going all day. Mm -hmm. 
uh, start gluing this together. So what I've got here is three quarter inch uh, piece of PVC and it's cut at two feet. And we need to measure this because I'm going to show you something. Yeah, one and a sixteenth inch outside diameter. That comes into play here in a second. So let's get some primer and some cement here. So we'll start gluing it all together. I, I pre-cut this and I'll just tell you what it all is as we go. Uh, let's prime that. I hope I don't get this on my hands. I really don't want that. I think, yep, I already did. My fingers are already purple. You're silly. Alright. Silly man. Oh shoot, Snooker Dog. I hope we don't get all like lightheaded because we got the door shut. Because <laughs> this is some serious cement. Got to go open the doors, guys. That could be part of the throw problem. And there we go. That's better. Now, this piece actually goes inside of this piece here. I'm going to actually do that now just to test things out. Hi, Johansson Cat. We have another visitor. I just got to tighten the crap out of this. Oh yeah, not really. Yeah, pretty good there. Oh, that's too tight. So, you get the concept now. Okay. All right, it's gonna work. I'm happy. Next thing we have is a cap, and it's for a two-inch piece of pipe. So it's a two-inch cap, and this piece of pipe is also cut at two feet. And now this cap has a hole in it. Remember that inch and a sixteenth that we measured? That's how big that hole is. So if you had like a one inch hole saw bit, you could probably pull it off because those things wobble a little. So it's an inch and sixteenth there. And we're gonna go ahead and prime and glue it to the edge, to the whatever, end. End, edge, it's all the same. Glue it to the end. I don't really ever let my primer dry. Maybe that's a bad thing, but I've never had anything PVC that actually like has a mechanism in it. So all my PVC that I've ever done has been like drain pipes. So who knows? They always hold. Who knows if these will hold because it's actually got a moving part now. You see that? It's got our suction going already. I'm excited. So next thing we got is a handle. All you need really is a T on the end, glued in place. But I'm, I had a little extra piece of three quarter laying around and um, I want to do my handle different so I can find the other cap. Now I got to get another cap off the counter. Thought I was prepared. And I'm going to have mine go together like that with the cap on the end of that one so I've got like I can go like that I can go like that that somehow with a little bitty top oh that'd be weird but maybe that I don't know I want to have handle options that's not really something that you need need nude but um, you know why not right dude I'm spilling primer on this brand new wood that I put on the table that sucks so we'll just glue this T on. Hi Johansson. You gotta let some of this glue dry a bit, huh? Maybe. Now nah, we'll put it to the test. How you doing? Are you gonna help or are you just gonna be in the way? You wanna smell the cement? Is that your thing? Is that your jam? This cat, she's crazy. I don't know if you guys have actually ever met Johansson. Maybe. There's been a lot of a lot of things I've done on YouTube. Pets always included. Let's put that on there. Hi. Hi. That's awfully wet. So I'm gonna do this a different way. Let me put the cement here. Maybe I should be priming both sides. I don't know. But we're doing it this way. Because the kitty is the big help. She's so stop smelling it. Yeah, you're freaky crazy like that. I have fun with my pets. 
when I do these projects. So you guys just get to join along this time. Um, I don't know how long the video will be. Kind of could be like a live stream if I did something like this in the future. That, that might be interesting. I don't know. Anyway, our hand pump, dredge, Yabby pump, go shrimp pump is done. <laughs> All you do is tighten this down to get a little bit more suck to it. Just think of it like a bike pump. It actually sounds like one little. Okay, having too much fun. Johansson, don't drink that water. That's nasty, nasty gold panning water. All right, guys. Well, I just sucked some stuff up with it. It does work, but I need to put like some sort of stopper right here. Like I'll put a screw or something through there just so that it stops here because this will come like that far out. And I don't particularly like that because it got sand all over it now. But we'll do that later. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I had some other things I wanted to tell you. Oh yeah, it's just that the reason for this and what's behind door number one is I'm doing a lot of trying to gear up and get ready for um, my finding gold in Colorado. I want to hit the book coming soon and I want to have a lot of tools to do so. That was what it was. So there's going to be some DIYs. I've got two packages that came in the mail <clears throat> that are going to be review videos. And then I also have a spot like hopefully next week planned out on Friday. No, this week, Friday. So, so yeah, I'm excited about hitting a site in the book, you know? So anyway, if you guys like this type of video style, let me know. I'm going to try to fix the other one with, with that one, so you'll have it soon, but give me a like, comment, subscribe, share this video, all the things. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.